commissioners. Um, the next item is item number, item number 15. It's an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Manhattan, 60-62 Gansford Street, AKA 60-68 Gansford Street, uh, Gansford Market Historic District, docket number 163617, block 643, lot 43, a two-story market building originally built as a five-story tenement building in 1880-81 and altered by Voorhees, Foley, Walker, and Smith in 1940. Application is to install storefront infill. And for the record, Michael Devonshire is recused from, from this matter and has left the hearing room. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think he just, I'm not sure. <laughs> Canopy remains. Canopy remains. The other aspect of the well, the other aspect of the application is to install some uh, bulkhead lights on the underneath side of the canopy to uh, both give it some presence and to improve the safety of the street, and to add two small signs.
uh, two small signs perpendicular to the facade that again sit underneath the canopy. Yes, uh, Fred? Uh, kind of a speculative question, really. The, these, uh, these are two different uh, shop fronts or galleries, um, but it's one big building. This is the, these two spaces represent what 50 percent, 40 percent of the whole. Actually, uh, the building and all of it is part of one larger block of spaces, Wh which is not, which have not been changed from. Um, well, we were to here. the left, yes. Yeah, the, the piece to the left of which we were here not too long ago. Previous application, which was which is now the Gainsborough. But that's a different building. Correct. I'm talking about the the, the one building. Right, right. Yes. And I'm just I'm just sort of wondering what your thoughts are. Are you creating a, a model for the rest of that row? Yeah, we haven't gotten that far. Or, I think the answer is probably yes. In that the hope is that we will continue down the block uh, as time. Because I could see it going either way. You know, you could have a whole series of different. Uh, storefronts or yeah again we haven't gotten to that and that's why I say yet, it's speculative but, but right. when I guess in a partial answer to that we have set this up as two storefronts in the event of down the road it becomes two right stores. right the other the one comment uh, when we were at the community board uh, was uh, and, and these drawings reflect their comment and change which is they thought the bulkhead and the base of the column should align and we've modified the drawings and reflects that point, kind of which I think was a good observation. And, and yes. why glazing in the doors? Have you thought of the doors being solid? Um, you know, when you go back to the original photographs, uh, it, that's what was uh, shown, you know, glazing in the doors. And it just seemed nice to bring in more light, uh, you know, especially as an art gallery, it'd be nice to see what's going on inside. Do you get anything with the brick above, the windows above? We're going to, that's exactly what's there. No we're going to clean it. That's it. You're going to clean the brick. Yes. Any other questions? All right. We'll take public testimony. Are there any speakers on this item? Okay, there are no speakers. We received uh, a recommendation from Community Board 2, which recommends approval of this application. All right. Uh, if there are no other questions for the applicant, we can close the hearing. All right. Uh, comments? Uh, well, in our summer discussion this morning, maybe we should be saving and roll down gates. <laughs> well, well, one thing I would say is that... Uh, right. But uh, I, I mean, one thing about uh, the Gans of That's why you asked about whether or not they're going to clean the brick. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the Gansevoort uh, Meatpacking District is is sort of unique in its own way. I think when uh, the commission designated it, I think they sort of recognized that this is not about keeping this place um, sort of set in stone. There was a multiple building types. Um, there was almost more, more about sort of the cobblestones of the sense of place. And so some of the interventions that the commission has allowed in, in the meatpacking district is something that you may not see in other districts. And uh, so I, th I think that uh, their approach to this storefront is very attractive. I think they've, you know, they've tried to incorporate uh, existing historic elements, uh, including the columns and piers. And, um, and it looks very appropriate to me, and it actually is very uh, consistent with the district. Yes. Yeah, yeah I just ag agree with that, um, uh, and certainly agree with your statement that the meatpacking district uh, was created in a way that would allow uh, much more, um, f even frivolous architecture, as we've seen, and and. Uh, and form making things on the top of buildings that we know about. So this doesn't do any of that. It's very respectful, very restrained. Um, it keeps the historic elements that do exist that are important, the columns and so forth, uh, and then simply infills in a, in a very simple, uh, direct way that an art gallery would seem to want. So I think it's very appropriate and uh, a nice change. And, I, for one, would hope that maybe this is the model for the rest of that building as it uh, changes over time. All right. Other comments? 
Any issues or we can uh, move to decision? Okay. Uh, Fred, do you want to read that? Sure. Um, in the matter of 60-62 uh, Gansevoort Street, also known as 60 to 68 Gansevoort Street, hmm, I wonder why, uh, Gansevoort <coughs> Market Historic District, the application is to install storefront infill. I recommend approval, noting that the removal of the existing uh, storefront infill, including uh, metal roll-down gates and flush metal doors, will el eliminate unsympathetic alterations that detract from the significant architectural features of the building without causing the removal of historic fabric. That the existing metal canopy will be retained and the existing cast iron columns and piers will be exposed, repaired, and cleaned, thereby retaining original building fabric and incorporation, and incorporation incorporating it into a, a new design. That the new storefront infill consisting of large glass display windows with a low metal base, fixed transom windows, and glazed panel doors set within the expanded masonry openings will be in keeping with uh, the modern storefront infill found elsewhere throughout the Gansevoort, Gansevoort uh, Market Historic District that the transparency of the new infill will recall the open loading bays historically found within the Gansevoort uh, Market Historic District, and that the proposed materials of the storefront infill, including brick and a blackened steel framework, will be harmonious with the building's facade and the streetscape. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? This application's been approved.